Let's get you dub. It's a bit interesting that the Steelers haven't started any contract talks with anyone yet with how many contracts are up at the end of the season. I think it's just a make uh, or break year. I think they want to they do want to wait and see. Yeah. For a lot of these players. We said the only one that you probably going to hope to get a deal done or maybe do something with right now is probably Cam cuz we said move, you probably want to wait unless you try to get him on a super duper cheapy deal. But I don't yeah. see why he would want to sign anything like that. Yeah, I think if you got Muth for a multi-year, less than ten million per year, then then you do it. But yeah. other than that, yeah, I don't think you got to be in a rush. Yeah, and I know it's gonna be some people that when you said multi-year for less than or around ten or than, in yeah. that range, yeah, it's people that's listening right now. They're like, yo, that'd be why? Cheap. No, but, that'd be that'd be cheap for you. Look at the other tight ends but, but around his projected. caliber and what you're, they're getting paid in terms of more, right? What? But you, but this still under the imp- um, impression that he's going to be more consistent. That's what I'm saying. It's people that still question that due to the availability, due to. But even uh, I think even what he's done is at least worth that. Yeah. 700 yards in year two, like that was he had a top five tight end season, and last year he was banged up. I don't know what his yards per game were. I mean, it was a little bit of down year, but yeah. I don't. Well, I'm is, with you. is anyone projecting Muth getting worse as time goes on? I, just, I think he's going to age out pretty well. He should at least. I just and that, those are the type of calls times, you got to make. As I just a franchise. think that it's yeah, the franchise has to make that. But not everybody is as optimistic about them. That's all. I understand that too. Yeah. But I, I think so, that would be the move I would make if you yeah. could get them at a at a reasonable deal like mm-hmm. that. I think I'd be smart. Yeah. Like I said, he's talented. He's produced. Because you guys uh, up in Buffalo, like yeah. Dawson Knox is your number two tight yeah. end. Is getting what like fourteen million I'm a year you. or something like yeah. So like if you got moved for nine, he's, mm-hmm. no, even if he doesn't reach his full potential okay. of multi-year pro, but he's still going to be a solid player that would be worth that money. I feel yeah. like no matter what. For sure. Now, at some point, do you try to replace him like the Bills did with Kincaid and Knox? Sure, but it's still not going to kill you having that caliber of tight end on the roster getting nine million. If 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 Muth is getting you five or six hundred yeah. yards a year, like that's that's quality still. Yeah, that's still Makes sense. that's that's like, that's like top ten quality i'm with you it's just a lot of not a lot of people but people want him to be more available and more consistent I and when too. you start talking putting money in there that's is a lot of people that hate you with eric ebron he produced too but he was very inconsistent and you know how people talked about him you know how people felt about him i just think that if you pay Muth before it's as consistent, I think he falls into more of the Ebron category a little bit. And I don't think that that's a good situation for him. Because I think he's better than that. But based exactly. off of what he's been... Uh, he's but not, based he's off, not even all the way there right now, though. The, uh, no, I mean, the drops aren't there. Okay. And he's a better blocker. But he hasn't given you a statistical to this uh, point that Ebron did. Ebron gave you 13 tighties in a season before. That wasn't here. I'm just saying in general, though, Ebron has given you more. That was why Ebron got the contract to even Yeah, come if you're talking about here. Ebron's career in right. general, sure. So as that's what a, we're yeah, saying. But to compensate him, though, that's the thought process. We know that hey, you couldn't block the best. Yeah, you start to have some drop issues. But as a whole, Ebron has shown more consistency throughout before he got it. And that's all I'm saying with move. That's how some people look at that, man. They look at him and they want to see him have – at least one of them breakout years. And a lot of people are anticipating to be in this year because of Arthur Smith having Russ way better situation around him, hopefully him being healthy. And if that is the case, then he should cook. But I just think that that's why some people are hesitant about wanting move to get paid. I mean, if you're the Steelers, though, and you think all that, that's why, I think that's why you would want to get – the deal done with Muth before he breaks out and you might have to pay 16, 17 million a year for him. Or you pay it prematurely and he doesn't break out. But that's the, but yeah, that's the and point. that's the argument. Yeah, yeah that's the that's whole point saying. of it. You got to make that call one way <laughs> right. or another. You got to make that projection. It's yeah. like uh, with the Warriors and Steph. Steph but was dealing with all they those don't injuries have to pay early him on. right now. That's the thing. Though. No, they don't. They don't have to. That's what I mean. Like I don't think you have to be eager. But mm-hmm. if he, if Muth is willing to take something for less than ten per year, yeah, I think that would make sense for the Steelers. Oh, it makes. A ton of sense for the Steelers, yeah. That's what and I mean, that's because I think no matter what, you're going to get a certain floor with Muth, and I think that'll at least still be worth that well. 8 or $9 million per year. But yeah. you have a chance to be winning the lottery, essentially, if he does yeah. ball out and become a perennial pro bowler at the tight end position and yeah. getting him for like that cheap. And that, that's what happened with the Warriors and yeah. how they gave 
Steph Curry his contract mm-hmm. early on. That's what we do uh, with AB over here. Because Curry he was, he was up and down at times for his first like three, four mm-hmm. seasons, was injured, and you know they gave him that deal. It was like only 11 or 12 per year, mm-hmm. but Steph took the security. Yeah. And then he ends up being two-time MVP right. in the Warriors. Blew up. All happens, yeah. And that's how they could afford Durant and all mm-hmm. these other players at that time. And he wasn't asking for more either. He was cool with it. He played out the contract. Yeah, he played out, which is rare. He did. <laughs> Most of the time, they'd be like, hey, bro, it's time to re-up. He was cool with it. So it's like, it works. If they all cool, everybody on the same page, great then. Yeah. So, uh, all right, we, we were just talking about guys who might be up for contract extensions. I mean, Moot's the one that comes to mind. We you talked said, about Nage, Cam. But Naj, you're not doing it ahead of time? <laughs> I feel like Naj and Moot are in the same boat. I'm like, wait, I'm, nah, I need to well, see. We already let declined Naj's fifth-year option. Yeah, let me see both of y'all this and year, man. I, his fifth-year option wasn't even like that egregious. It wasn't. One year for six-something. like It's cold. <laughs> Who else? Daniel. Yeah, because everybody I, else yeah, can I get no done desire afterwards, to but nobody Daniel can get done right a, now. Yeah. Extension. Say Malu, that's not happening. No. Defensively, Roberts just signed. No. Yeah, this, this might be his last year. I think this is his last year. He did year. a two-year? Yeah, Cole had three. He, uh, you're Roberts right. You're two. right. You're right. He's getting up there. I just brought in Peyton Wilson. Yeah, exactly. He's getting up there in age. Brand. I love him, but just from a straight business standpoint, it, like you don't got to do that. You don't You don't I need can, to have any urgency to And I can him. do that this offseason. Yeah. Let me make sure you age out right. Let me make sure you keep the young world ball for you. Yeah. And we could definitely do business this offseason. But I think that... Casey, this is the last year. You paying him early? No, we just brought in Sean Elliott. Yeah. And we was Hogan looking for Jeremy Chin. We was looking for another dude, too. Hogan huh? Joby. Yeah. I don't want to put any extra years on his contract. You can't touch Keanu just yet. What about uh, Louder Milk? No. Fields would be a good one, but... I don't think Fields is trying to do that. Like, if we got Fields for mm-hmm. six or seven million a year for a couple of years. He locking himself in. <laughs> Nay. Yeah, I think it'd be great for the Steelers. Right. But, but for him, like, ah, you box yourself in, bro. Why you want to do that? Yeah, like, no matter what, that's that's quality backup money. And it's almost yeah. like the Muth conversation. If we never see Fields this year and Russ balls out, no matter what, you've still got Fields yeah. as your backup for 6 or $7 million, and that's what he's worth as a backup, at least. Yeah. Like, that's a high-quality backup contract. But if he did end up playing or doing good, it's like you got Fields for an extra two years for 6 or $7 million. Now, obviously, he'd probably hold out or do something <laughs> to try to get that number up. You don't think he'll be like Steph Curry and be just chill about it and stay nah, with that number? No, nah, no. Nah. Yeah, I don't think so. Either. I think they'd, they'd try to figure something out. <laughs> But yeah, I don't think the Steelers, yeah. we don't got to do anything in terms of extensions, mm-hmm. really. Ain't nobody really ready to get paid just yet, man. Because even sure? the names that we're talking about that I think would make the most sense, eh, we don't got to stress it one mm-hmm. way or another. Mm-hmm.